Am I? This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's get right into the reading. This is okay. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising. Wherever Gemini energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days, Gemini. Okay, remember if it doesn't fit, please don't squeeze it. Gemini, 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 Gemini for the next seven days, Gemini energy. Your crowning is out, so let's see. Gemini energy for the next seven days. Gemini energy for the next seven days. Gemini energy for the next seven days. I love you, what is we are? Yeah, my honey. <laughs> She's over in the corner. She always makes me feel so horrible when she goes into the corner all by herself. All right, there's been a big old energy spill. Let's see what's going on. Nothing is wasted. 63, 6 and 9. 6 and 3 equals 9. So, you know, I've been getting the, I've been getting the energy of 9 for a lot of signs. And I think that's because something is coming to a completion. Something is coming to fruition. Something is coming to, it is nearing an end. And this is the energy of almost reminiscence, looking back. What have I learned from this? This is also the energy of um, finding a blessing in a burden or like finding a silver lining, finding a treasure in a trash heap. That's what this is. It's like, cause, because Fulcher has that energy of being able to know when something is still useful, when something to find a use in something that other people couldn't find a use in. But they're, they're like nature's recycling recyclers. You know, they, they are carrion birds. They will, they, 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 they're the carrion, they're the carrion birds. So they eat roadkill, <laughs> they eat trash, they eat the leftovers, but that means that nothing goes to waste. And this is the energy that's crowning your reading, Gemini, a sense of, um, learning from your past, a sense of finding maybe hidden treasures around your house. A sense of use, uh, basically using what you have right here, right now. Um, yeah, a sense of like a growing sense of wisdom that maybe everything that maybe everything doesn't have to be shiny and new in order for it to be valued or value valuable or valued and finding that kind of, um, usefulness or purpose in a circumstance or situation that isn't that easy. It's a little bit rough. It's difficult or it's, 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 it's not your desired place to be right now. Let's get into the reading and see how this energy is applied because honestly, this energy could be applied in many ways. Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Stuck in the middle with you. That's the energy of, um, compromising and learning how to see somebody else's perspective. Maybe somebody learning how to see yours, the energy of remaining in the shallows and playing in the waves. So being playful and, and, and keeping that high energy aspect that, that, that sort of optimism when you're interacting with people, um, in order to be able to, deal with them and put up with them, like not get too deep with them. Um, and be able to see things from their perspective because you don't go too deep into it. This is staying in the shallows. This is two, two plus zero is 20, 20 energy. So it's two plus zero is still two. This is an attempt to see different, two different perspectives and to be able to basically, uh, it's a little bit imbalanced. If you look at all the cards in tarot, two, is not a balanced number to usually make means confusion or some sort of, um, not necessarily disharmony, but yeah, but imbalance. It's, it's not stabilized. So this is maybe the energy of something coming into being and still needing time to be understood a little bit more. This is maybe the energy of something that isn't easily comprehended. And so you're remaining open-minded about it so that you can tr like try to see things from somebody else's perspective that both sides are correct. And there's really no need to fuss or fight. It's almost like you're talking yourself out of an argument this week, kind of like, no, I'm going to stay light. I'm going to keep it light 
But there is a really tremendous energy and the, and the full moon is going to be affecting you. That full moon in Cancer is going to have a, a huge impact on you, uh, Gemini. It's going to give you a lot of opportunities basically for learning. So this is this might be part of your struggle is learning how to speak because you're a master communicator. Learning how to speak and listen in the same intervals, you know, like learning how to hear and, and uh, share your opinion the same amount, learning how to balance that out. Given somebody, giving somebody else the platform, you know, the, the podium to speak, um, letting them take the floor, being able to open yourself up to whatever their perspective is, and, and maybe even being stuck yourself at a crossroads because you can't make a decision over something. Like having a decision, uh, um, feeling almost maybe backed into a corner, having a decision to make where you can't really make the decision. Because you can see the good and bad from both sides. It's going to be very difficult for you to choose. The miracles are endless. So this implies that there's a lot of abundance in your life. And that maybe, just maybe, either way you choose is going to lead you to a great thing. It's also saying that sort of this is, you're almost like divinely chosen for this, for this path. This is a, a statement of, or, oh... Uh, is a statement of this being a really big choice and a really important decision. And that's why you're having a hard time making this choice. You're having, like you're seeing things from, from both sides and you're seeing the beauty in both sides, but this is a big choice. It's an important decision. I don't know what the important decision is. You could be deciding between two lovers. You could be deciding between two jobs. You could be deciding, should I stay or should I go? And this is going to affect, I think, sort of your life in a big way. And so you know how very, very important this decision is. Magic works through you. This is Cancerian energy. This is the energy of going between, you know, the two worlds, you know, being the, the, the world of the dead, the world of the living, the magical world, the world of magic, the unseen. I feel like you know and you can feel the vibrations of this uh not change, but potential that's all around you. But you're wondering, how do I tap into that? Like you're wondering, how do I make a decision as to, like how do, how do I ride this wave? Like how do I make a decision as to which direction I need to be going? In other words, there's a big decision that you have to make. There's lots of benefits in making a decision. You know how big this is, you know that this is gonna affect your life in a large way. And, and, and it's, it's coming, you're the conduit of this flow. Your choice is going to decide, um, maybe the way many people are affected. Um, and, and you want to be very particular and you're very particular about kind of, it's almost like you, you don't want to make a decision to be honest with you, because you know how hard it is, you know, I mean, you know how important it is. And you understand the gravity of how you're being affected this week and how other people could be affected. And, and you don't always, it's almost like you don't want the responsibility. You see clearly now, owl spirit, this is seeing in the dark, seeing something that other people can't see. In, in context with this reading, it's seeing an opportunity that other people can't pick out. Nothing is wasted here. Like I said, seeing, finding track, finding, finding treasure in a trash heap, right? And also being able to make use of other things that people throw away. You are seeing the potential in it. You can see in the dark. Um, you can you can pick out this opportunity. You have a wisdom to you. You have a knowledge, almost a foresight. Almost like, this is like my insider trading card, right? Because something's on the DL, but you know what's up. Um, it's almost like you can see the wind of change coming. And maybe that's why you know how important it is to make this choice. Interesting. You are never, or or let, let me say this, it could actually be you making the choice, like having, like in choosing somebody, making all the difference in your life, in their life. If that makes any sense to you at all. So you you have a tremendous sense of responsibility when it comes to the decision that you're that you're up against. I think. The cards on the table, it has to do with abundance or money or somebody else's money, somebody else's fortune, um, somebody, some other kind of sort of um, 
a decision that could influence or affect somebody else's abundance. You are never alone. I don't know, Gemini, what's going on, but this is love energy. This is unconditional love. It's almost like maybe just maybe there's this, this feeling of a third party situation where you know that you could take somebody away from somebody else or you're in this situation. You could reverse the energies where somebody could take you away from your current relationship and you know that this is on the table and you know that it's, it's you that's drawing them in. Maybe even not intentionally, but you can feel this tension you can feel something growing there's an energy of something is hidden and not being shared with everybody involved and you know that the decision you make and how you react to this moment and this opportunity is going to cause a domino effect um spirit has a plan oh it's watching it's watching but i think that it's like it's almost this card is almost on the table to say that you really Maybe you're putting too much pressure on yourself because spirit is overseeing this and they're not going to let anything happen that isn't meant to happen. So if you are that person who is the inspiration for breaking up somebody's relationship, it's probably because that relationship wasn't strong and it was supposed to end. Something was supposed to come out. In other words, this is a domino effect and you're the one pushing the first domino this week. Um, yeah, so no pressure, Gemini. <laughs> I know, sorry. Um, oh, right out on the table. Let's see, but let's get more energy. I want, a, I want a grounding energy. Okay. So we have believe in yourself putting yourself to the task, planting the seed for the future and opening your doors to infinite possibilities, you being the star that shines. It's almost like if you're doing something right for yourself this week, you may be doing something wrong for somebody else. And it comes to that moral dilemma, but it's not really that much of a moral dilemma. It really isn't. Because this, this car, these cards are showing me that there are two aspects to this reality. There are two like simultaneous truths happening that either way is going to lead to a good end. So there's a lot of pressure that you feel this week, Gemini, but it is not pressure that you should be feeling. You are going to get a lot of, um, you're going to get a lot of opportunities. Open to infinite, infinite possibilities. This is shining like a star. Standing out. This is the star card, like an Aquarian energy, but this is Aquarian energy as well. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. This is a sense of almost also being trapped between what's right and what's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like the angel devil on your shoulder. And you're the one that comes down to making the choice. Having to be the one that makes the choice. overcome any obstacle not only will you get through this but you can get through this because this is coming into your crowning energy now slow and steady wins the race don't rush into any of these decisions if you can slow down this timeline do it because over the next seven days you're going to need every one of the next seven days to be able to make sure that you're making a decision that's right and good for you and for people that you may care about or for a circumstance that you maybe care about this is be playful sandpiper energy, but it's upside down. This is something like an upside down world. Something that doesn't, something that, something that seems misplaced, something that, some, something that seems off, something that seems, um, um, be playful. You know, this isn't a game. You're not messing around. And yet still there's this energy of this and that are true, which is telling me it's a lot more about compromising and seeing things from two different sides or having two different decisions, having two different selections to make and having to basically feel like you're bumping your ass around in the dark to make these decisions because you're unsure. That grounding energy is saying, listen, you have so many different opportunities on the table. Take your time with them and don't rush into anything. Give yourself that time to contemplate the abundance and the purpose 
of all of those opportunities and be able to take a look and really see how they play out in the long term, how they affect people that you care about and people that you love and how much long term growth potential they actually have. Hold on, Gemini. I want to turn around. I want to turn the camera around. Here you go, Gemini. So this, this is a really contemplative reading, right? It is, yes, it, it is 100% wanting to make progress, but not wanting to make it quickly, of wanting to be able to feel good about your surroundings before you proceed. You know that whatever you're handling it in and dealing with isn't a game. And this is an energy of really having multiple, multiple opportunities and understanding that um, all many of the opportunities are good ones, but you want to dig deeper. You want to give yourself time to see what those eyes that nobody else sees. So dig deeper, do some investigation, get some more information, see how this is going to affect your future. See how it's going to affect your life and your livelihood. Yes, definitely see how it's going to affect your abundance and your material resources, but also how is it going to affect the people that you love? Is it going to keep you connected to spirit or is it going to veer you off your course? If you plant this seed, when you make the decision, are the seeds going to be planted and carry you into a happy future? Will does it even have a potential for the future? This is an energy of you really need so much more information, Gemini. But a supportive energy of listen, you you contemplating this for a longer period of time, even if it means that you spend a little bit more money, maybe to take a new class or, or to d dig a deeper investigation, or you spend more money staying someplace just to feel how it feels. It doesn't matter. It's, a, it's well worth the investment because there's more information that needs to come to you still. And it's arriving slowly and you really shouldn't make that decision, any decision, um, on these opportunities that are presenting themselves until until that information comes in. I'm going to dive deeper in because this is still a very ambiguous reading. I'm going to I'm going to dive deeper into tarot and we'll also do your um we'll also do your uh, week ahead romance reading as well. So the link is below Gemini. I'll see you on the extended